the making of a therapeutic window. Atypical antipsychotics have an affinity for blocking 5-HT2A receptors that is equal to or greater than their affinity for blocking D2 receptors. Amount of D2 antagonism in the striatum is lowered at the same dose where the drug has antipsychotic actions. Interestingly, this creates a window between the dose that exerts antipsychotic actions and the dose that causes EPS or elevation of prolactin levels. Therefore, while D2 receptors are assumed to be blocked by 80% in the limbic areas to cause antipsychotic actions, the D2 receptors in both the striatum and the pituitary are assumed to be blocked by only approximately 60% below the threshold of side effects. And thus, the drug is only atypical in the dosing window created by the fact that atypical antipsychotics almost always have higher affinity for 5-HD2A receptors than they do for D2 receptors. Now, atypical antipsychotics can be categorized in many ways. They can be organized as either peens or dones or as two pips and a rib. The peens bind more potently to the 5-HD2A receptor than they do to D2 receptors. Examples being clozapine, olanzapine, quetiapine, and esenapine. The dones either has a similar receptor profile as the peens or show similar potency at both receptors. The examples being risperidone, paliperidone, etc. Eripiprazole and cariprazine, on the other hand, both bind more potently to the D2 receptors than to 5-HT2A. And brexpiprazole has similar potency at both receptors.